All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can get daily Canva tutorials for all the good stuff. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about Canva YouTube thumbnail tutorial, brand new for 2024, and it'll be a step-by-step -step guide, okay? Uh, I use Canva every single day in my business and I've done it for years. And uh, YouTube thumbnails is definitely one of the top reasons why I pay for a pro subscription to Canva. I've tried hiring and outsourcing thumbnail creation only to be disappointed. I've tried outsourcing to Fiverr, all kinds of things, right? I, and then I just find that learning how to do uh, thumbnails yourself, you'll get better and better at it. And the professional thumbnails, even when you can get a really awesome one, unless you're like Mr. Beast and you can spend a million dollars for one thumbnail because your video is going to make you a hundred million dollars, you really don't need that level of thumbnail creation created for you. So in this case, we're going to be creating some simple thumbnails, but first I'm going to take you through my account and you can see just proof that I am practicing what I preach and I am actually creating all kinds of designs in Canva. I use it all day long. Look, if I just start scrolling down here, you'll see creating courses and doing email lists. And here's um, something over here I've used all kinds of stuff for YouTube. You can just keep going and just looking at all the different ways that I use Canva on a daily basis. But I want to take you through a couple of my accounts for one over here, actually using this for even creating like a course image, right? So we have a picture of myself and then you just create this unique banner over here. I got the AI background image from using the magic uh, studio inside of Canva, right? So then that created that background and then I grabbed the art for the YouTube uh, icon there. And then you have this this simple uh, background and then you have this cutout of myself and then you can go ahead and look at some of the blur the highlight in the back and it just makes it pop right obviously a better you, I would recommend using a better picture maybe one where you're smiling a little bit maybe wearing a, a professional sh shirt and so forth but I really don't care because this will get clicks and get signups okay it shows that I'm a real person that I'm an average person I don't have to be in a tuxedo or a suit in order to get clicks and so forth right so just showing that that's basically a YouTube thumbnail right there as well. But I want to take you through the journey as well, because I'm going to show you in a sec. But let's go over here to one of my other channels right over here. It's called AI content creation. Now I took this template right over here that you get inside of Canva. So this is the template. So then I duplicate that. And then now I'm looking at YouTube designs, I take that font right over here. And I just change the font it's in really big font so this style right here is really big on the big font right there and then we just want to have an element over here and so forth right so you can see some of the thumbnails that I have done on this channel right over here again all this robot right over here was created with Canva and the AI image prompter that Canva has I have videos on how to do that as well but you can just see like this one I did the other day right here as well I use this cutout of this person right over here in Canva as well so all of of this a 100% of this is done inside of Canva. Okay, here's another really cool one right over here, and so forth. So you can see that and then we can come over here and look at maybe one more channel right over here. When we look at this, I've been testing different things out look at the font right over here that we have <clears throat> really cool stuff. These I'm sampling just text alone. And you can see right over here, these thumbnails, these ones, believe it or not, are getting more clicks than the ones when I'm A-B testing these as well. They're getting more clicks than when I'm on screen, when I have a person on screen. So there's like a, the basic advice that you're gonna get from most people is that you wanna have about three elements going on a thumbnail at once. And one of those elements usually is a human being on the thumbnail, but we all change, things change, right? So I created this one from scratch as well too. So you can see all the different efforts in creating that. But I like on the Canva Creatives Hub channel, we have all these other ones over here. I can show you, let's go into here. So so I started off creating thumbnails uh, from scratch, right, with the uh, two different fonts and then uh, creating these. And these ones take more time than something like this right here that looks like it's a highly professional image. It's because I'm getting this AI picture and then I'm throwing on text on top of it, okay? So super cool um, on how to do this, but now let's go take you from scratch and just show you how do you create a thumbnail. Uh, in Canva in 2024. I'm gonna show you two ways. So one is go to create design and then you'll see it's usually one of the highest ones up here in prioritize and in, in, in the priorities. And that's because 
uh, I would say 80% of people, if I had to make a guess, that use Canva are using it for YouTube thumbnails. That's a huge, right? There's millions of channels and creators, and probably I'm just going to make a guess that 70 to 80% of them are using Canva to create their thumbnails. And I'm no exception because I am using it for multiple YouTube channels as well. Yeah. All right, so what you would do is immediately you're going to be into the design right over here, and they have a ton of templates in here that you can use, right? Now, you will start seeing some of these really cool ones like this one, and this one has been overused, right? You'll see this, that this has been used a lot. So I recommend changing a lot of stuff, right? So come in here, change it to your brand colors. Uh, I have a brand right over here that is LearnWire. So we can go over here and look at my other, one of my other channels over here, right? So it's this green, right? So what I would do is I would come over here and in this new design, I would click on the background and we would change it to a brand color like, right? And then we would get this right over here. And let's just say, I'm just going to say Canva. And then right over here, I'm going to say thumb, thumbnail design. And then I want this to be 2024. I want it to be very updated. And then I'm going to show you what we can do. There's some different masks and so forth. I don't like what's going on the screen. I, I think that it's dark and so forth. So what I'm going to do is delete that mask that's on there and it's starting to look a lot better. And so what we're going to do is let's actually strike that. Let's actually go in and recreate the thumbnail that I'm going to create for this video for you guys. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to come in here and I'm just going to take for this specific channel, we're going to go back to this thumbnail right over here. And I'm just going to look and see what we would want, like over here, thumbnail design over here. And then maybe I show something. Maybe we just go, maybe we go like this. So from scratch, let's come back up over here and let's just say new page, right? And then we come back up over here and we find that one that we were going to go for fun. And you can always start with these templates, change the text out. I always recommend changing the person out. And I do recommend changing the font and so forth so that you just don't look like you're grabbing thumb, thumbnail templates and doing nothing with them. But so that is the first start. If you're brand new to th uh, thumbnail design, go ahead and just click on one of these and change, update the color. For example, if I clicked on this one, we would go in here and we would change the color to our background color, which is one or one or the other. So it's like that. We even have this kind of paper design over there. It looks um, fine. And then that one pops even more, but the text will pop more if we go with the darker, right? And then you would go in here and you would just say, you would say Canva thumbnail design right here. And then you would change this out. But since we already have a template, I created this template right over here based on a couple different texts and fonts. All I would have to do is just go duplicate page. And then I would go up here and I would just say Canva. And I really like this because it's like an artsy font. And so I'm going to go like that and I'm going to make this really big. And then I'm going to just maybe put that right up there. And then I'm going to say Canva thumbnail design. And then what we'll do is we'll go copy paste and then I'll double click and I'll say 2024. And then we can change this out the next year if we wanted to. And then I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to remove these images right over here. And we will figure out something cool to put over there. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller right there like that. And sometimes if that is sticking out like that, what we'll do is you can go and make it at the 90 degrees right there or something like that move this down. And sometimes I like to use the arrow key to move it down to be more precise. So, and then this 24, um, and I'm just doing this right from scratch off the cuff. I didn't de uh, create, I didn't plan on this design or anything like that. I'm just working with what I've got. And I like that, right? Maybe put that right there, lower it a little bit. And so now you have, oh, wait, Perfect. All right, so we have uh, big letters. That's the style that I went with in the beginning. Look at all these really big tutorial type, and it's all about the text and then maybe one image, okay? So then right over here for fun, just because I want to show you, we want someone shocking. So let's go with uh, elements and then maybe go, uh, you're going to go into elements and you're going to go with this woman shocked, right? So someone, and then I'm going to go to photos and then we're going to go and look at some different photos over here. Uh, they're pointing at this. We have someone right here and just look and see what we can find. 
All right, so then I'm going to grab this as already a cutout. But if you wanted to grab somebody else, like you could grab this uh, person right over here and just click them onto the screen and then come over here and go to edit photo and then go to background remover and then watch it instantly removes the background. And then you would just move this bar over, move this like that and then position the person really close to the edge of the, the thumbnail. And then we're going to move that way up. And then you have this right over here. So then now we've got this template over here. Another thing that you can do is just go duplicate this and then now remove that person and start messing around with what you think looks best, right? We'll start finding some other people as well, like this person. The text is getting in the way right there. And so I want this to be bigger, but at the same time, one of the problems is that this 2024, you have to be okay with it covering the person a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of mess around with this. I think that I'm going to go ahead and be okay with that, that we have this kind of bundled up like that. We have Canva thumbnail design 2024. We can also click on the person and come over here and go to edit photo. <clears throat> and then I like to go with some shadows and then I like to put a glow on it. And you're either going to go with white or black. You can experiment with what looks better on the current canvas we do have the white uh, popping off right there in the background but then we could certainly go and change the color by clicking right here and maybe we want to try something a little bit different so we can actually come over here and click i have this extension called eyedropper you can click on eyedropper you can go click from the the page and then maybe we want something that pops so we want this exact color right there and then what we'll do is go back to edit photo and go back into shadows and go back to color and then do a control V and paste. And that looks really cool. And then we can go and start messing around with the size and make it even more like that. I think that's pretty good right there. And then you can go and mess around with the blur amount. So I think that this will look cool how it's popping like that. And then finally, you'll go and fix this by moving this on the screen a little bit. And then to get the fine tuning, what I like to do is use the arrows like I'm doing right now. That was the, the arrow down key. And then I, now I'm using the right key to just get that onto the edge right over there, maybe something like that. And then I'll grab this corner over here and make it as big as I can about like that. So then now we have something that's shocking going on and we have only basically we only have two elements and this one two to three elements to depending on how you consider it we have a person which is one element and then we have text is a is two elements okay the text is one two three technically four and four words max is what you want to go with depending on generally speaking right here i see that these two are bundled up so I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I'm going to go and go with the line spacing and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it pops a little bit. I'll go ahead and click on this. I'll use the arrow key to move that up just a little bit. And then I will move this up with the arrow key to where it's almost touching, but I want a little bit of a gap. And then we have a little bit of gap right there. And then we can fine tune where we want to put this 2024. So it's very relevant pretty decent looking thumbnail right there and then you just go and go to share and this is page three so then you would just go over here to download and then you would go into your pages unselect and go into page three is the only one we want done and then download. And this is going to be the one that I'm going to use for this video because I made it for you. But there's other ways we can do this as well, which is using the, the power of AI. And then you go ahead and subscribe. I don't want this video to get too long. I can show you, I'll make some more thumbnails because thumbnails is the, I think the number one reason. It's definitely the number one reason why I use Canva. I use it for a lot of things. I've used it to sell coloring books, create journals, all kinds of stuff. You can build full businesses just using Canva, which is super cool. But again, I'm managing multiple YouTube channels. I create my thumbnails in Canva and there's different ways of doing it. Cause see, look at this thumbnail that we just created compared to this one right here. They are very much 
different, right? They look a lot, they're not even close. And this one you would think is has a lot more going on with it. And that's because I created the background image with AI. And then I put the text over this and you can create some really cool ones as well. That is the different ways, but you want to make sure to subscribe. I'll do another tutorial on how to create AI images with Canva. But this one using templates, using some colors, you start getting a branding going on right there. And this looks pretty cool. All right, so I'll, uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.